Hey, it's Dude, and we're doing a, a dream zoo adventure here at the Fresno Chaffee Zoo. We're going around saying what we would like at the zoo, if everything was perfect, right? You come crew with us too. All right, crew, we're here at the zoo, and we're gonna do a different type of video. I did this video with Jason already. I didn't upload it, I didn't edit it. I still have all the clips, I still have all the folders of what we did. It's just that same day I was making a construction video and at the same time making that video. So I didn't, usually I'll do one video right full and then I'll do the next one, like what I'm doing right now. I just finished the construction video update without doing this and then I'm gonna separately do this. Does that make sense? Last time I did both videos. I was recording both videos at the same time. So I was just all over the place. I didn't remember what the heck I did. I don't remember what the heck I said. So sorry, Yason, for not putting that video up. But it's just that that one was just all over the place. I didn't know what the heck to add in. I didn't know what I said. There was parts when I got back home and I was like, oh, dang, that's right. I forgot about that. But here we are at the Fresno Zoo and we are going to do a dream zoo. Okay. Now I say dream zoo because this is if everything is right, right? The, we're, we're talking about all of, you know, funding is there. There's, there's no, there's no problems. Right? All the problems that come with building a new anything, uh, an attraction, anything like that, all of those problems are non-existent in this dream, right? Because we know that if you want to build something, you have to go through uh, higher ups in the zoo, you have to go through city, you have to go through all the politics of building something new. So if everything works out fantastic, this is what I would hope that it'll be cool to have this in the zoo. So one of the things is here in the Central Valley, I've said it many, many, many times. Here in the Central Valley, there's no theme park at all. No theme park at all. If we ever want to go to any type of theme park, anything, we have to either go up north or we have to go down south. Other than that, or close towards the beach. But here in the Central Valley, there's nothing of like, hey, let's go spend the day at a theme park, at an amusement park, even an amusement park, you know? Uh, there's nothing like that. So I've always, always pushed like, come on, someone. Someone do something. But we need something here and there hasn't been. Some might say, well, there's that Playland area over there. Well, that place has been, been trashed forever. And then I was thinking, should the zoo take over that? But no, 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 I, that, that would mean the zoo would have to buy out another company type thing. I, I'm assuming that they're not, they're not together, right? Storyline and all that. I'm assuming that they're not together. So that's why I know that that's there, but let's forget about that and ha have the zoo build their own stuff on the property they already have. Here's one of the spots where there's not much happening. Not not much happening, there's nothing happening. We got some lights right here that they're putting up for the Boo, Boo Zoo, that's coming very, very soon. But see how there's an empty spot right here? A perfect thing to go right here? A carousel. How cool would that be? Perfect spot. They have an empty exhibit dilly right there. And not that you want to get close, right? I'm not saying to get close to the pig dillies. I forgot what they are. But just you'll be able to push back a little bit. Maybe you can cover that up so there's not they're not being bugged. But right here, a, a carousel. And then if you might think, well, but then if you take this out, then that means you're going to take out a seating spot where people can sit down, relax, right? Because there's benches right here. Just because it could be a carousel here does not mean that there won't be a hangout spot just behind us is this whole spot that has been like this for, man, maybe four years now. That would be a perfect spot to have the chill area. And even if you could put another kid's little play area over here, parents would love just to hang out, have some shade, benches. There's a garden area if they fixed it up. Because again, you could hang out, see the kids play, not just over there, but you could also see the kids getting on the carousel right here. So a carousel, perfect i think again this is all i think right this is not a thing maybe people might see that and be like that wouldn't even go there that's the dumbest idea ever again that i i don't know anything about placing things here or there i'm just saying that if it was possible put a carousel right there believe me here in the central valley people would love if there was an amusement park theme park where we would not have to travel long to go experience those things and what a better spot to have those things, you know? Like the zoo could be the bush gardens of the Central Valley. How cool would that be where you can come, not just to an amusement or theme park, 
but it's like it's like a double whammy you're coming to the zoo you're seeing that and then you're also coming to get on rides that would I, that would not only bring more people in but that would have people stay in the zoo a lot longer rather than just come around and like oh let's go look at that let's go look at that if there's rides then there's then they'll say let's go get on the rides okay right here we're getting to another spot where I'm not saying you have to take that out you know there's a lot of kids that like to play on this rock right here but from that way this way what would go perfect right here I said it last time too is one of those little trains you know not not a big uh, you know the, the little kitty trains you could put a track around just clean up some of the stuff the tree could stay there I think the trees pretty good right there but just clean up some of these bush areas maybe fill in some or not even you know you could still have the train just propped up right you can have like little footers where it's raised on these hilly parts the station maybe right here people get in line from right there but how cool it can go around the fence is all the way, is not all the way the fence is right there so you can use this whole area to all the way like that like this this section right here is pretty big for a train or check this out you could even do a couple flat rides if you want little kitty flat rides so you can have the train right here but then also you know it does its little thing it, it, it could even do this it, sometimes people just make a train where it's like an oval or circle it's just a thing you could make the train go around do a little turn right here do a little turn back out do a little turn back in a little turn in back out follow right back to the station that'll be that section right and then over here you could put like a teacups type ride little spinning uh, flying elephant or something I think there's a good amount of space here but again I don't know anything of anything right so I look at this and I go yeah that's pretty good to put that there but then probably in reality people see this and they're like no that's the dumbest thing it wouldn't even fit there just saying zoo oh look at did they okay no uh kind of they did kind of okay they kind of closed it off I've seen a lot of people walk through right here to get to that way I understand they don't want people to go that way I mean they put that right there but just like Walt Disney said to his Imagineers when they were getting upset at people walking through where they shouldn't have Walt Disney said don't be upset at them they just found an easier way to get around to where they want to get to so rather than blocking them off how about put some footings uh, or put a, a little path for them to walk on I want to get a coffee but Whenever I get it, it's not good. When Cat gets it, it's like, oh man, you did it, it's good. Okay, now we've gotten into the African Savannah area. Right over there is the Warthogs. But all of this space, all the way down towards the elephants. The elephants is, is on this side, but all the way down, this whole area space is on the south side of the elephants. Big area, okay? There can be so much, so much done here. I just wanna make sure everyone knows, like. I know the whole difficulties of coming up with these things and putting it there. This is if everything works out perfect. Uh, but you can have, man, you can have a good amount of things here. Not just, uh, you can have a coaster, you can have an Intamin coaster, a Gerslau, you can have a wild mouse, you can have a dark ride also. I think it'd be really cool uh, if there were to be an inverted coaster like Montu at Bush Gardens in St. Petersburg. It's, it's like that, man. It's, you know, your legs hang. That would be a cool ride here. I think a couple coasters would be really awesome here. There's those one coasters where it's, I don't like those coasters just because the the ride put through, I think is is really bad because it's well, only one train can go at a time. And it's the ones like, uh, I think at SeaWorld it's called the Electric Eel. And it's that continuous one, right? So it shoots you forward, then you go backward back into the station, then you go through the station going forward and then then you finally go through the whole circuit of the coaster those rides do go perfect in a very compact space that would go really good here i don't like those rides because again the rider put through it's just very low the line can get very long but that type of ride would go fantastic here uh, you could put shops you could put restaurants you know something else i was thinking about just yesterday actually was there's no zebras here we don't have no zebras it'd be really cool if they to incorporate zebras if they extend the savanna part right over here if they extended it out this way the path can go that way around and then they can have the space bigger space right not that the zebras are, are gonna have their own space but just if you're gonna add more animals into a space I feel like you would have to make that space bigger 
Uh, so this would be a perfect spot if you add in zebras. See, this whole area is just so, so big. And, and not, not only that, so there's the area right here, but there's still more space outside of the zoo that I think might be theirs, or maybe not. It might not be theirs, but this whole area is a giant space of nothing other than when they're using it for the dinosaurs. They do use it for the Jurassic Park. But I just think maybe you could do something else with the Jurassic Park. We went to the Sacramento Zoo. They had a Jurassic, a Jurassic Park type thing, but it wasn't in one specific area. It was, they had dinosaurs at different spots throughout the zoo. So it'd just be really cool if they did that. I know that they charge to see those dinosaurs. I know that. But if it was a possibility, again, this is if all works out good, there was a possibility to have those dinosaurs just in random spots, you know, it'd be really cool. It would take people around the zoo, right? It wouldn't just like, oh, we're just here for the Jurassic Park. So they'll just come to that area right there. If you were to have dinosaurs all over the zoo, then people would have to go throughout the zoo and then as they're doing that to look for dinosaurs either take pictures or just to see them that's where they will encounter other animals too and then they'll be like hey well let's go check out that animal since we're here boom or let's go check out that animal since we're here sometimes people you know they might just come to the zoo and oh let's just go see that just just ideas you know but see more space over here this is that party zone the party zone could still stay there it doesn't have to move but there's still space back there shops restaurants i think like three shops would be awesome a, a one restaurant and then like a quick grab and then like a coaster one or two you can have like a compact one and then you can have like a montu type batman fresno chaffee zoo i'm just saying if you need anyone to ever go out to like let's say iapa and go research rides i'll do it i'll do it i'm not gonna lie i don't mind um you don't you don't have to even pay for my flight out that way because that's covered just uh just get me entry to the iapa uh, for the whole entire weekend and i'll pick up all kinds of literature i will talk to all kinds of people about different rides and attractions i, I i'm not kidding I, I i will first i mean i just want to go to iapa in the first place that's something that i've been wanting to do the one in orlando that's the big big one i want to go to that so bad not for any research of anything other than me just going to go see uh the new rides that are coming out uh, the new tech that is coming out but fresno chaffee zoo i'm telling you if you ever want someone to go check out different ride and attraction ideas i'll do it i'll do it i promise I i'll i'll do it for free just just get me the pass into iapa so here as you can see there's a lot of room they do use this for, I think, weddings, and then sometimes they'll do some other sort of events. So even though that this is a open area, I would probably leave this untouched just so then you can have that for that. Or, I mean, you can even half it, right? Like half this space that way or, or, or the other way like that and have some new... Uh, animal exhibit because you have to have room to add in more animals if it's possible you can't just put like all rides 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 you know you have to have new animals if possible so I'd say this spot would be saved for future animal exhibit uh, and then also for different events if they do we've been over here in this area when I think it was two years ago for their zoo boo thing we came we didn't do a video though but yeah I'd, I'd say leave this for either a future expansion of uh, an animal. Look at these flowers. Really cool. I like them a lot. Very nice. Have I shown you, crew, this right here? Little geysers. Uh, that. River. Waterfall. Perfect spot during the summer. They'll turn off the water when it's not summer. So, you know, you can't get wet. But you can still play in this area. Very cool, right? No lifeguard on duty. Watch out. That thing is huge. Look at This is a huge lamp. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, we've gotten to where the bird show is. And then this spot here is the bird theater show. Winged Wonders. You can see that that dilly back there, right? So my thought was, what if you move all of this thing right here, all of this, but if you move it into there and then you use that theater 
as the theater, the seats would stop right here. You know, you could bench them up, like stadium type seating. More, more elevated with, than what this would be. This is very slow, gradual. We're talking about, you know, a nice elevated seating area. And you can use that whole space right there as your stage, your theater for the show. And I was thinking of closed, right? Closed. And I know you're thinking, well, a bird show, why are you gonna close it, right? How would they even fly? Uh, here at the bird show, they don't do no crazy flying where like they're flying up in the air. They'll like fly from one of these posts or something like that. Uh, and then they'll fly to somewhere back there. So they're not going up, right? They're not like using high things. So I think it'd be perfect where if they were to use the stage right here in front, that theater thing. And then if it's covered, right, you don't have to worry about, well, they don't worry about them flying away right now. I say covered just because my idea was to then remove all of this here and make it a new area for rides. Uh, you could put a couple rides in here, even a coaster. You could put a coaster back there, maybe. There's this space over here as well, and I know that they use that for, I think, like the summer camp stuff that way. But then there's all this space as well over here. You could put more kid rides. This could be like the kid ride area. Any any kid ride you could think of, insert kid ride there. I haven't shown you no animals today. Look at there's the anteater. Dude, you're going to have a new space, man. The anteater's new space is going to be... Oh, look, I've never seen two in here. There's another one. Oh, you're a little bit more Chaquito. That's the one I, I usually see. He's the bigger one. But they're going to have a new spot over there in the Kingdom of Asia. Are you excited, man? You smelling me? Dude, you're going to get a new area. How awesome is that? This is a weird animal. I'm not trying to be a jerk to you, dude, but you just are. Look at the tail. Giant sticking straight out tail. It has a little mohawk on its back, it's long nose, snout, and then when they walk, they walk on their knuckles. They don't walk like with their paws out. You see that? They walk with their knuckles. Oh, I can, I, you can hear them smelling over there. Look, you gonna touch noses? Hey, hey that's you, yeah, that's you. <laughs> They have the sea lion show. It's not a show, they don't do a show. It's just an educational explanation of sea lions and seals. We're coming this way because I saw, I saw something on towards the end, but that's the exit and I'm not gonna go through the exit. There they are. Can you see crew? All right, yeah, I just wanna show if too much clear is on the camera. The dude's huge. Usually sometimes you'll see the seals coming around here, but maybe they're not right now because that was happening right now and i think right here is where no it's not right here i said that last time too it's further back over there but there's a there's a path that i feel like they should open up so right here i think is where the path was because you could see that and that i'm not sure if it was here or there but if they opened up this path right here for people to walk through right to the wolves the reptile area and then i think the tortoise again it's just easier access right you give people more accessibility to see the zoo in the way that they want i know that the path right here they want people to come down this way right here and then continue on going but i just think to have more options right to go through places and see or to see the zoo in the way that you want would help out a lot or it just it benefit the guest a lot because then they can say well i want to continue this way or you know i'm good i want to go see the reptiles right now see here's some lights they're putting them up right now literally as we are speaking wow and like it's just wrapped 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 how, how many how many strands do you think like one is i'm thinking like four this this has to be like four right i mean well i don't know are they using like 500 foot string lights maybe if it's 500 foot, then like you probably just need one then, right? But look at all oh, the stapling on them too. I thought they, I thought just you just wrap it around and that's about it. There they are, looking dope. The lights are looking awesome. And there's some shots of the construction happening. If you have not seen any 
of our construction video updates. Go check those out. We have 15? 15 episodes now. So the shop here is still the way it is. It's completely cleared inside. So I don't know if they're like remodeling like the floor plan or the floor how it looks. But it's like completely cleared out. Last time they had uh, like it was used as storage, right? So they would get some of this stuff and then or whatever was extra, right? There was boxes and stuff. But now see how it's more cleared cleared out so who knows if soon they're gonna be putting all of this stuff finally inside because I know they have all this right they have all of that but there's a lot more that they usually have when the shop is open they're very limited on what they could sell out here because they can't have the full inventory look at though how cool is this hat how cool is this Oh, crew, should we get, should we get one? How, mu how much is this? 25? Are they all 25? This is definitely, yeah, 25. What about 25? But how cool. This one, I think they're all 25, crew. Yeah. A visor? A visor has to be cheaper, right? Oh, nope, 25. <laughs> Bucket hat with the monkey on it. 21, 22 bucks. Dude, these are, whoa, look at this one. 20, uh, 22. That one's cool. That, the rhino or the cheetah. And then look at this, dude, these are freaking cool. Chaffee Zoo, good job. Seriously, good job. This is new. These are the kid ones. Oh, look at this one. 22. This one, I'm assuming, might be the same. Oh, 25. 22, but they have the lion, rhino, <laughs> stingray. This is, I'm not sure how much this is, 16. New merch, new merch at the zoo, crew. This, um, I don't remember seeing Komodo dragons here. They got Komodo dragons now, how much are you? Well, it says the all plush, 25 bucks. <laughs> Read it right there. But yeah, I don't remember seeing a Komodo dragon. Is this new? A sloth bear? This is a sloth bear. What the heck? I should have checked the uh, other shop to see if they had new merch. I did not know that they were going to have. Whoa, the stegosaurus, the lion, the dinosaur. I think these were possibly at the dino thing. But look it. <laughs> yes! Chaffee Zoo, good job, good job. Seals, sea lions, I mean. Bigger giraffe, but then they also have uh, just elephant, rhino. 15 bucks for that. Dino toys, carts, what is this? A truck, yes. Very cool. The shirts, these are 25. Oh, glow in the dark. But I think these are all just kids, right? These aren't really, oh, these are adults right here. Whoa, look at this sweater. What is it? I don't know what that says. I'm not trying to read it, I'm not gonna lie. Rainbow, animals, dinosaurs, rhinos, elephants, croc, turtle. What the heck are you, seahorse? Yeah. All right, Fresno Chaffee Zoo, good job. With new merch, I like it. I think I gotta get a hat. We did it. Yes. This is gonna be the hat now. Right here. Man, I like it. Uh, I got this one because it says Fresno Chaffee Zoo. The other one, even though the cheetah looked really cool and the rhino also looked really cool, but there was nothing that said Fresno Chaffee Zoo. So I wanted to make sure that the hat said Fresno Chaffee Zoo. So anywhere I go, when I wear it, they'll be like, oh, that's a Fresno Chaffee Zoo hat. It's not just gonna be like, oh, that's just the hat with a rhino or that's just the hat with a cheetah, you know? It's identifiable. That's from Fresno. All right, crew, that was that. Again, this was all if everything is perfect, right? The money issue is not a problem at all. If uh, politics is not a problem at all. If everything is perfect to build these rides, these attractions, that's where that would go. And I actually just noticed one more thing that I did not say before. So you see the parking lot right here. What I think would be really, really cool is if they, if they make this parking lot into a parking structure. Right, a multi-level parking structure, uh, five levels, 
would be cool. Oh, train. If they make all this into the parking structure, that would mean that the parking over here that they got can be used for something else. But how perfect would it be to have a parking structure right here? You know, you have centralized where all the cars will park. Right now, when people come to the zoo, they're parking here, they're parking off to the side over there, they're parking uh, over here at this parking lot where I park, they're parking at parking lots over there on the street. But if you were to take out, not take out, right? But if you were to make a parking structure right here, then that would centralize all your guests for the zoo. I mean, there's some people that would park somewhere else maybe, but that would at least have all of your zoo guests in one area to park and then leaves this whole area open for more awesome awesomeness. And one of those awesomeness, uh, again, one of my favorite animals ever in life, ever, are wolves. So if they were to make this, the wolf exhibit, you know, even double it in size, bring it back all the way over here, add some waterfalls, trees, all that stuff, that would be really cool. Enclose it more because sometimes when there's like parties, people have parties over here and then you'll hear boofch, 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 all that stuff. Uh, and when you're seeing the wolves, you can hear and you could sometimes feel the bass. So I would only assume that the wolves are also hearing, feeling the bass, the bass, the, the beat drop them as well. So that'd be cool if they were to make a more enclosed section for the wolves, if they were to extend it more, give them a lot more space, give them some trees, big old trees to run through. Uh, they have some trees, you know, but I'm saying like waterfalls. That'd be really cool. And then here is where you would have a big section. Like just look how, how big this, this area is right here. I think the biggest space that the zoo has, empty space, right? I know they're using it as parking, but I would say empty space that they can use for something else would be right here. You can do a couple more animal exhibits you could do some some rides some of those uh there's some of those like spinning coasters those are very compact type of coasters gerslaus um uh, so a b&m coaster i don't think would go good here b&ms are really big coasters very expensive as well they are one of the top 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 coaster makers right now vacoma is becoming a big top coaster company they have done coasters like uh Tron light cycle. The Tron ride is a Vacoma coaster. So, I mean, when, when people are going or freaking out about the Tron coaster, like, oh man, it's gonna be crazy, all this and other stuff. I'm just like, D you guys are just getting hyped up for a Vacoma booster bike coaster. Like that's all it is pretty much. But you know, it doesn't mean that the ride itself isn't cool. It's just, it's not that crazy new age. The first theme park to ever have a Vacoma booster bike was Toverland. They were the first one. It was like a simple little coaster and that coaster was like a, let's see how this type of ride works out. Toverland is a crazy theme park actually. It has grown, it has exploded in size. It is so amazing. Uh, but crew, that's the adventure. That's again, if everything works out perfect, uh, that's what we would like to see at the zoo. If you enjoy what we're doing, be sure to pass that like button. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. We'd so much appreciate that. But as we always say here on the channel, the views are always appreciated. So never have to screw with us for one second or all the seconds. And you, you doing so on purpose or an accident means so much to us. You're all awesome crew. Thanks for crewing. Thanks for venturing. On to the next. And next, next, next. You're still recording. Why are you still recording? Why are you still recording? Don't do that. No, yeah, he's, he's, he's driving. It's all good. And just Zane, Zane, this is, get out of here. Get out of here. I'm still recording, what the heck? I should have checked the, the, the kids. I saw the text from Kat right now. Let's get in there. Oh, train. Yeah, the ton, the, the ton.